Yeah. <laughs> What's up, Power Fans and YouTube? It's your boy Nino, and I'm back with another Power video. In this video, I'll be talking about the recent Power Viewers Choice Award and how they reveal Ghost is actually not dead. I know most of you have watched it already here on YouTube, so this breakdown will make you see what you have missed. In effect, I'll also talk about why Obi thought he could hit on Norma and what Norma's love language is and of course if you are new to my channel you're welcome kindly hit the subscribe button like share leave your thoughts in the comment section below now let's get straight into the topic now stars held powers viewers choice award hosted by our very own diana and trust me she did amazing job with her brilliant presentation style shout out to mcdowell TV for winning the PhD award. Now, this award show had a lot of interesting categories. And like I said, if you haven't watched it yet, then go to the stars page after this video and enjoy. But this video will only focus on a more interesting chase they play during the show. Now, I must say stars did well by making Ghost very exceptional and acknowledging the fact that he is the GOAT. Yes, Ghost is the GOAT. Love him or hate him, Omari is a match. Now, I know this is a controversial topic, especially when it comes to ghost being alive or dead. Depending on where you stand on this subject, just pay attention to this because I think Stars is even more confused as to whether ghost is still alive or dead. Now, during the award show, they had a segment which captured all gone souls where they paid tribute to some major characters who died in Power Universe, including Ghost who was the last one they showed. Personally, I was wondering why they didn't pay tribute to Lobos and Shondo, but that is just by the way. Now, showing ghosts in all gone souls equally means ghost is dead, right? Now, the gone but not forgotten category Michael Rainey Jr. or Tariq presented didn't even have ghosts as part of the nominees. This category literally was supposed to be a category of individuals whose death really hit the hardest. The category included Julio, Liliana, Proctor, Reyna, and even Zeke. Now, my question is, didn't Ghost suppose death hit the hardest? How many times do we even remember Zeke anyways? After that night at Truth, when Tariq shot his father, our fans were no longer the same till today. Most of us till now refuse to believe Ghost is dead. If I am not lying... Ghost has trended more after Terry shooting him than he was active in the show. So my question is, how come Ghost didn't make it to the category and Zeke did? Let me know what you also think in the comment section below because personally, I don't understand. If they are telling us Ghost is gone, what makes them think he can be forgotten? Personally, this is another clue that shows that even stars is trying to avoid the ghost is dead or alive conversation. Now, as if the above was enough, this is the catch for me. Pay attention to this. The category of the favorite moment that broke black Twitter includes the scene where Diana reveals Zig's dad at the dinner table, followed by the scene at Truth where Tariq held gun at Ghost. Now, look at the lower thirds and see what it says. Tariq shoots Ghost. Now, wait for it. This was followed by the scene Tommy shoots Angela. Now look at this lower third. It says Tommy kills Angela. Now why would both scenes be described differently when Tariq and Tommy did the same thing by shooting? Tariq shot Ghost as well as Tommy shot Angela. But why was Tommy's scene conclusive on the word kills whilst Tariq's own says shoots? Now let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section below. Did Tariq kill Ghost? or Tariq shot ghost. Someone can be shot and not die. And someone can be shot and that person would die. Clearly, they are still not definite on whether or not Tariq killed his father. Now, I know someone will refer me to the ending of Power Episode 610 that the statement was who shot ghost. Yes, now that we know who shot ghost, why can't the statement change now to Tariq kills ghost just in the case of Tommy killing Angela? Now, drop your thoughts and theories in the comment section below. Let's discuss this because I'm still convinced that ghost is still not dead. I know someone will say they added him to the gum but not forgotten category already. They wrote in loving memory on top of him, etc. Yes, they are smart. They know if they didn't add ghosts to that category, a lot of us will read their mind and conclude that ghost is still alive. So to still keep us in suspense, they decided to go according to the script 
and still portray ghosts to be dead. But let me know what you also think in the comment section below. Do you still think ghost is dead or until that body shows up, he ain't dead. Drop your thoughts and comments below. Let's discuss. Now, let's talk about Norma and Obi. This is a bit off topic. I know I should have done this video a long time, but forgive me for it coming late. I know most of you were wondering why Obi had the gas suddenly to make moves on Norma. Obi has studied Norma over the period and noticed her love language. She seemed to be the type that wants people to do her dirty works for her, but that is not the end. It seems that is her love language and she's attracted to smart people. Mecca used to ensure the coast is always clear for her at all times and information is given to her advantage. These attributes Mecca exhibited could be the reason why they were dating. When Mecca died, she was on 10 toes making sure nothing shows up in her face. Obi on the other hand was doing all the cover-ups for her but he wasn't as connected as Mecca. Obi was more like a welfare dog to Norma. Now Obi thought he has done a lot for Norma for her to get attracted to him too but she barely looks towards his direction. Now Kane took some risks for Norma and did similar things Mecca did for her. Don't forget that Kane learned some few things from Mecca too. So Norma got attracted to Kane since he also has some strengths that are similar to that of Mecca and he went down with Norma. Davis is another character that possesses special skills that Norma needs. Now if you remember Mecca had connection in law enforcement hence gets information at any time. Someone will say Kane should have been enough for Norma now but Kane doesn't have connection with law enforcement like Davis. So Kane cannot satisfy all the needs for Norma. Hence, Norma getting attracted to Davis as well. So from her point of view, she is not playing Kane. I think that is just her love language and she is attracted to smart people and she gets information from both Kane and Davis. But let me know what you also think in the comment section below. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Most importantly, like, share, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Catch you in my next video. It's your boy Nino. Thanks for watching.